guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about doing things that bring me joy. Things that just automatically give me that warm, fuzzy, happy feeling inside. I really think self-care is so individually based that it's a great idea just to start working on the things that you can do to make yourself happy. What do you do for yourself that makes you happy, um, easy breezy, just floating through life without a stress, without a worry? And I think it's important when you do get that time to yourself that you really kind of reflect on the things that make you feel really, really good. I'm sure like so many of you, I'm on the same path right now, just trying to figure out what works for me and what is going to be helpful in getting through these tough days. I hope this video can bring you guys a little bit of inspiration and get your day going a little bit brighter and happier because you are doing something that you like to do. All right, so let's get started. So this week I ordered a box of fresh veggies from Little Pond Farm. I had to go down and pick them up. And I also got this little bundle of flowers and they gave me a sunflower. I was using this fresh basil for quite a while in place of flowers, but I actually planted them in soil because they grew some roots. So we're gonna replace that. These are the flowers that I chose. Uh, I forgot what they're called. Um, but they're super cute. And they are rubber banded at the end. So I'm just gonna make sure with this whole veggie box that I save these rubber bands to do some tie dyeing with. Look at those little cuties. It's the little things, you know? Okay, let's see what we've got in our box. It was downpouring this morning, that's why it's so wet. It was fine, and then there was like this enormous storm that blew through from the north. We've got greens, cutest little head of cabbage. Oh my gosh, how precious. Lettuce, parsley, beets, zucchini, eggplants, a lot of these little radishes. I think these are onions, maybe spring onions. Never really cooked with them, but they smell just like onions when you're cutting them up. I picked up this box a few weeks ago and it surprisingly brought me a lot of joy and sort of like meditative, like food prepping feelings when I was washing them and storing them in my fridge. It just felt really nice to um, unbox something full of so much life and freshness and knowing that I can experiment with some things I don't typically pick up. So. This is something I was looking forward to all week. And as simple as it may sound, just going to pick up a box of veggies 30 minutes from where I live, it brings me a lot of grounding because going to the market was something I really enjoyed before quarantine. It's a really big part of this self-care day. Okay, just finished washing all these babies off. Not pictured as a lettuce because Lettuce really just annoys me to clean. It finally stopped raining. So I'm gonna put the camera down 
take a quick break and take the dogs outside. So it's about three o'clock and I am, think I'm gonna make myself a little drink, a little pick me up if you will. I've really been loving uh, matcha lemonade lately, but I quickly realized that was a pretty bad little habit to start forming. So I decided to get the stuff to make it myself. Okay, so making this is really, really easy. You just take your lemonade. Um, I'm just gonna pour the rest of this in. It has little notches on the side, but it looks like it's like a little over. But... Oh, almost two cups. Perfect. And then you just take your matcha powder and pour it in. And you don't have to use a blender. I just like to use a blender because it whizzes it really, really quickly and gets everything well incorporated. You can just like use a spoon or a shaker, or whatever you have. So good. I could chug the whole thing. Not going to, but definitely could. So this is a clay mass. 
that recently was recommended to me for the little bit of acne I've been having. It works amazing, but I'm gonna save this and put it on right before I go to bed and 